This rapper claims to be a cyborg sent from the year 2050. Hello, we are Orin, a digital and collective conscious and cyborg from the year 2050, sent by a higher civilization to save mankind from the matrix. My name is Patrick CC. You're really going to need a glass of water for this one and stay hydrated because we got a lot to talk about. I came across this guy who was featured on an episode of Dr. Phil for claiming that he is a cyborg. There is an apocalypse in the future. We have seen it in our dreams and in our visions. But you're not mechanized now. We are. There is a brain implant, which is how we speak to you right now. Orin is but a shell. What part of you is mechanized? Our brain, our legs. So if we x-ray your legs, we would see the it same. It is a combination of flesh and steel. Right. We are not saying that we are invincible. We are saying that we have merged with technology, with machine. Right. In order to stay alive. He talks like a robot, thinks like a robot, moves like a robot. And it's robotic speech. It's a glitch. Like, he's a computer. Your intensity will be matched as we try to save you and everyone that we know. And has convinced his entire family that he is actually this cyborg. I'm not really going to talk about the Dr. Phil episode too much. I'm just going to highlight a few key things that I think are really important. Number one, his name is Orin. His cyborg name is Orin and his artist name is Oren. Two years ago, he graduated NYU with a 3.9 GPA. His mother says that for the past full year, he has been acting in this cyborg character and never breaks it. 100% cyborg all day, every day. In the episode, he said how Oren, the human- Oren was going to enter the matrix. Oren was going to become a broker, work a nine to five, have kids, get married, die. We're not here to fulfill someone else's dreams. We are here to complete our vision. This is our job. Just hang on to that, because that one's important. And the rest of the episode, Oren is essentially talking about the destruction of Earth, him coming from 2050. So why did you take time out to come here? Because we wish to spread our message. Give me the principal tenets of your message. We are a collective conscious uh -huh. sent from a higher civilization to warn people of the incoming apocalypse. But this was the turning point for me. When they bring Oren's sister onto the show and she talks about her experiences with him, she says this. I feel like I expected him to get a job since he went to a good college. No one has really expected him to want to become a rapper, much less a cyborg. Run that back? No one has really expected him to want to become a rapper, much less a cyborg. Hold up. This whole Dr. Phil episode was about him being or becoming a cyborg. It had nothing to do with him being a rapper. Nothing. It wasn't even mentioned all the way up until this point. So that was the moment for me where I was like, hmm, is this just a giant marketing ploy to get his music out there? We'll get back to that. But now that we know that he's a rapper, let's listen to some of his music. Fear, released 10 months ago. Smoking cushion popping pills doesn't sound like something a cyborg would do. Honestly, the song is pretty good, but this video is crazy. Let's just listen to another. Again, video is absolutely incredible. The song, pretty solid. Kind of just sounds like standard melodic auto-tune rap, but I just, I want to hear another one. Always making plans. So you flying overseas with stops in London, France. Well, girl don't need a man. You flex because you can. And left the realest nigga that you'll ever meet again. This young boy on his grind. Okay, whoever's doing these videos is incredible. I'm blown away, honestly. I haven't seen video production this good from a small artist, like, probably ever. Also on his YouTube page, he has these Welcome to the Matrix videos, which is essentially just him talking to a computer as Cyborg Orin. Welcome, we are Orin from the year 2050, sent by a higher civilization to warn humans of the incoming apocalypse. So he's selling it, it's cool, he's coming to warn us. Moving forward, our host asked us, how is it that you are studying for the future? This video is essentially him reacting to what happened on Dr. Phil. We will use these broadcasts as a way to spread our message and to connect with our audience and to share the visions that we have seen for the future. So he's going to use this video series, which we're going to watch another one. He's going to use this to share his visions of the future and just to connect. Mileage, our 
first track of 2020 is available on all streaming platforms. So he just goes right into promoting his music, like directly after, no transition, still has not even like addressed that Cyborg Orin has anything to do with music or making music or anything. He kind of just throws it in there. Like it's just a part of it when like nobody really asked for it. Let's go to his next broadcast. Many of you have asked on our Instagram and Twitter what will happen in these visions and what do we see for the future? So in this video, he makes four main points. Starting with the environment, fires, the warm winters, and the poison mercury in our fish are all examples of how the planet is rebelling against its inhabitants. Moving forward to the second part of our vision, we would like to confirm that aliens do exist. The third part of our vision is revolution. Humans will rebel. The fourth part of our vision is that machines are not our slaves. They are our friends and companions. And then again, right after goes directly into promoting his music. Forever, our latest offering, Musical.ly, is available on all streaming platforms as well, released today. That track signifies that the arrival of the cyborg is confirmed and here and speaking to you through this broadcast as we are doing like so. The release of this song confirms that the arrival of the cyborg is official and whatever. Well, if we listen to the song. I get a Monday to Sunday, busy with me cause they know that you find it. Yeah. I get a Sunday to Sunday, back up on me cause she know that she find it. Yeah. I need the hundreds, I need the blow, up in the spread the stove. So I need the hundreds, I need the blow, she back it up on me. That confirms the arrival of the cyborg. The big thing is that the subject matter in his music is not aligned with his mission at all. He isn't talking about artificial intelligence, he isn't talking about coming from the future, he isn't talking about saving the world, the end of the world, none of that. It's all just generic, regular rap lyrics that you hear in just every other rap song. So you have all of these people who are interested in your cyborg character and they're interested in all of the weird sort of prophecies that you're coming up with and pitching to the world and then you're using that interest to drive them to your music and then when they get to the, your music it just sounds like just regular rap apart from the visuals the music itself just it doesn't sell it it doesn't finalize that that's the one thing that you need I wanted to go back in time just a little bit just to kind of see what happened. June of 2017 he released this track called Perfect Blue. Freaky with your daughter. With your daughter and your Got a bitch from the tropics now. Tropics. She looks spending, I can't stop it, no. Pretty solid, has kind of a speaker knockers feel, but has no signs of cyborg activity. Between June of 2017 and September of 2018, he didn't release many songs. I mean, you could see on his YouTube there are a couple, and there are a few more on SoundCloud, really not that many. But I found interesting that this song, Great Escape, had a totally different vibe. They say that your friends are cool. I'm asking you what you wanna do, my boo. Came to the party, but I only see you. But I want you too. When you want me three, it's like four of us on the great escape. Let's go out on the town and explore the space. Again, not bad. Totally different vibe. It's kind of has that indie alternative sort of e-boy vibe that is becoming a very popular genre, but no cyborg activity again. So what does that tell me? Well, that tells me that between this video and this video, which is about a year and three months or so throughout this time, he was transitioning and finding his different sound, which it's all good. And I'll get to where this leads. Like I stated before, his mother specifically said on the Dr. Phil episode that he has been pretending to be a cyborg for a full year, and he hasn't said I, he's referred to himself as we, and this cyborg network, Orin, for an entire year. Well, roughly a year ago, he releases the song Fear that we listened to before. Yeah, you gotta face your fears, yeah. This seems to be the first indication of AI, cyborg, robotic type feels. Now, if we look on his Instagram and you scroll back one year ago, which this is almost a year to the day, he's not acting like a cyborg. He's still acting like the uh, e-boy indie alternative. But we go up a little bit up in time and seems like, okay, 50 weeks ago. So this is kind of when the cyborg stuff started to happen. We see he released that video. He's got some cool imagery, starts putting out a lot of stuff that looks like cyborg type beat. He even released the Orin project, which is where I believe he went full cyborg mode on. <laughs> and pretty much everything after that, with uh, with the exception of a couple of interesting photos here and there, uh, for the most part, he pretty much is going full throttle with the cyborg robot AI brand. It 
sick. <laughs> Literally all he was doing was trying to figure out his sound and he found it and he was trying to figure out his brand and he found it. Once he got to this cyborg brand, he liked it and now he's pushing it. What we want to know, is it 100% just a marketing ploy and he really finessed Dr. Phil? Was his family in on it? Is he actually acting like this all the time when the cameras are off? Is he really pretending to be a cyborg all the time? Or did he just gather his family together and say, look, this could work. This is a genius idea. And they all acted on the show because Oren's acting on there was phenomenal. You watch the episode of Dr. Phil and you're like, this dude is for real. <laughs> so it really makes you wonder, is it all just one big plan? Or is he really sacrificing the relationships with his friends and family just to sell this? I also wanted to say that in the Dr. Phil episode when he said, We're not here to fulfill someone else's dreams. We are here to complete our vision. This is our job. It's basically just saying, I want to be a rapper. <laughs> But if this is just a entire marketing plan, I think it's genius. There are a handful of songs that I do like. I'd say most of it is really not that different. I think if I came across his music and didn't, didn't see the full brand or see any of the videos, I probably wouldn't be all that interested. But honestly, I could see it developing into something very interesting. However, my man, you gotta delete all that past. You need people to come to your page and just be like, damn, this dude is straight up cyborg. Like there can't be any other indication of you having a past and it'll be way more believable and on top of that the music you're not going full force with the cyborg talk in your music it's just generic regular flax rap you already got all these people's attention and then you bring them to this music where the video is good and you're selling it in the video but in the context of the lyrics it's just ugh, just so normal and just so typical rap. Artistically, I think you got everything down pat besides that. I'm very interested to see what happens. Definitely paying very much close attention to Oren. I like what he's got going. It's interesting. I really hope that he finessed Dr. Phil because that would be an iconic story. And yeah, I'm just gonna be paying attention and Hopefully you guys are too. Maybe we'll have to do an update video in a, I don't know, a few months or whatever. Anyways, I hope you were hydrated while watching this video. My name is Patrick CC. I'm out.